Hi Capricorns, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. So, I am late getting out the... These were supposed to be mid-June readings. However, life got bonkers. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep up with the schedule any earlier. So, you're going to get your July reading soon. So basically, you're going to get two that are for the next 30 days that are pretty close together. Um, remember to watch your sun, moon, rising. Only take the stuff that makes sense to you and leave the rest for somebody else, okay? If what I'm talking about doesn't make sense to your situation, then you can check out the other readings. Um, okay. Let me see here. Capricorns, if you want to enter, I am doing a free reading giveaway um, where I'm giving away one free reading on this channel, Rogue Goddess, and on Rogue Pisces, if you happen to have a Pisces placement. There are rules of entry down below if you want to check those out. Ooh, okay, so you have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Big time happy energy here, Capricorn. Possibly some Leo energy. You're moving out of a time where we have the Knight of Emotions, the Two of Inspiration, and the Page of Voices. So there could have been a, possibly a water sign or an air sign that you were um, interacting with or around. I feel like you may have had your eye on someone in particular, maybe a Libra or an Aries here. But this feels like, or it's someone who may have been into you also. This, For those of you, if you're not interested in love, then this could just be the night of emotions, two of inspiration, having dreams and plans for the future, the night making intentions to actually move towards those. And the page of voices being a really studious and curious energy that's just trying to learn everything they can and like communicate in the best ways possible to make that happen. Let me clarify a little bit. Ooh, those want to come together. Okay. Judgment and the Nine of Swords. The Sun with this. Yeah, maybe a little bit of like plans, but indecision. It feels like with this page of voices, swords, energy, you have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups for me as a reader is a card that says keep your eyes open. And then <laughs> interestingly, you have this card with these big... These big old glasses, right? Um, that there being opportunities, but sometimes we're distracted, we're wrapped up in our head, we're reflecting too much, we're in our emotions in a way that's very contemplative. Um, but I feel like there's something in particular that has kind of caught your eye or your attention, Capricorn. We have the Judgment card with the Nine of Swords. Now, this has, this is, these two are coming out over top of the Knight of Cups. So it could very well be that some of you had some anxiety kick up if you had someone from your past come back and, you know, want a second chance or you could have been deliberating whether or not you wanted to approach someone also. Um, you might have lost a little sleep over it. For some of you, it could just be, you know, trying to go towards your own, your inner calling towards your higher self. The judgment card can indicate Scorpio energy, but it can also talk about like trying to resurrect a part of yourself in a way, like a second chance to be a whole new you. It's like this, this isn't her old self that's leaping out of her body here, right? This is like her purest self. And that can grow, that can change, that can evolve. Um, so for some of you, I feel like something could be shifting there. And that tends to cause anxiety, right? Big shifts. Knight of Cups, water signs, so yeah, Scorpio or maybe a Pisces or a Cancer also. You have the Sun with the Two of Inspiration, so this is, right, realizing a little bit more, similar posture here, hey, is this Judgment card, sort of the chakras being thrown wide open. Your happiness is requiring a plan and it's requiring some forethought and planning into the future. You will notice though that this person down here with this telescope on this two of wands, two of inspiration, 
they're realizing just how much of a big blank world there is that they don't know everything about, right? Otherwise, this would all be colored in. But they're, they're still sitting there contemplating. I haven't quite made a move yet. So for some of you, it feels like you could be planning a move, planning a vacation, planning something. Now, in your next row, you have the Five of Inspiration here. Ten of Voices Justice card. Five of Inspiration. There could be some conflict. Um, this could be internal or external. This could be a lot of competition. Um, you could be in a competitive field. Uh, for some of you, it feels like you might be leaving, uh, possibly contemplating leaving. For, I'm wanting to say work in the justice field for some of you with this Ten of Voices and the Justice card and the Five of Inspiration. For some of you, it's like whatever you're doing, it's just like it's it's a lot of competition and it's a lot of work and it's just like your mind is is far too occupied and with this fool card coming after this makes me feel like there's a desire to leap towards something else with the justice card down here for other people this could just be that there's an ending something's just over right this ten of voices ton of of swords tends to indicate like hey, wake up, something's done, right? Something's done, it's over, it's no good. Um, and you have to move on from it. There's not really much else to do because it's a 10, right? You've sort of learned everything that you can. You've looked at it from every angle. You've thought it over. Um, your brain's probably been working overtime right now. Could have to do with a friend group or some kind of conflict or competition, maybe to do with a Libra. But for some of you, it's just really just about trying to bring something into balance, you know, getting sort of what you deserve in a situation. Yeah, seven of wands. Okay. So you kind of rising above it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. So the seven of wands taking over the five of wands, right? Whatever competition there is here, Capricorn, this is you kind of rising above it. You can't be fucking bothered you don't have time, <laughs> right? Um, it's standing up for your convictions and your beliefs and going towards the things that make you feel purely sort of happy and like, or at least fulfilled and like ethically okay and like morally okay. It feels like you're making choices like that. But this chariot and the ten of voices, there could be some pause, right? You could be in a moment of realizing that something is... Something's dead, something's done, something's over with. There's a little phase of, of, of life that perhaps you were going through here that you're like, okay, this isn't working. And now the chariot's like this speedy cancer energy that comes in and is like, yeet, we are out of here, right? Could not move on fast enough. Um, I feel like some of the Capricorns I've known in life, it's like once y'all make a decision <laughs> to, to do that something isn't working anymore, it's like these plans start falling into place. You guys just... You put it in order and you start just, if the stepping stones are not there already, you will create them. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like you will quarry the stones, you will throw them in the pond until you can make it work, right? Very determined energy I'm getting with this chariot card here. But the Queen of Cups and the Justice card, there could be some sort of, sort of karmic balancing or favorable outcome in love, all right? Some kind of... Uh, Possibly with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It feels like maybe wanting something to be fair in love or in a loving connection here. Hmm. Very sweet kind of energy. If you see how they're both like, they both have this eyes closed sort of I'm getting a mirroring energy here. You could be mirroring someone, maybe a water sign, or it could just be someone that you're very fond of. I feel like there's like a dual, almost like a dual call, like they're calling you, you're calling them. You have a few tens here too, Capricorn. Ten of voices, ten of emotions. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So in your last row, you have Ten of Cups, you have the Fool, and you have Eight of Wands. So this is movement, right? This is young Aries energy with the Fool. 
Eight of Inspiration. These are both cards of sort of like decision, movement, taking some kind of leap of faith. Um, leaping into the unknown. It feels like your happiness is very much at stake here. You may have a sense of that in the future, maybe getting a much clearer understanding after whatever this sort of competition or ending was here. Um, but this conflict possibly. Very, very cute. But it's like so much celebration with this Ten of Cups energy. Tell me about it. Let's go into it. Five of Cups. That's interesting. So why the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups? So it's perhaps you are finally figuring out how to shift your emotions away from the regret. There felt like there was something here that was almost like the Knight of Cups that has this anxiety of the, the swords and the judgment card. The Knight of Cups holds that cup and that cup contains their dreams and their manifestations of their plans of the future. And it feels like there could be something connected to the past where it didn't really, something didn't come together as you thought it would or it should. Again, like, and it's almost like this conflict that arises makes it easier for you to figure out which opinions, which thoughts, which sort of ideas were actually worth your time to spend your energy on, okay? It's kind of what I'm getting here. So it's sort of like the realizing where to focus makes it easier to go towards what's actually going to be happy and fulfilling for you. But the full card here, you have the moon. Okay, so some of you I feel like could be taking a leap towards a Pisces. Ooh, crazy. This is the moon with... <laughs> the Aries energy, I tend to look at them almost like this. If you see this, this, this fool is kind of like getting ready to jump off that cliff, right? And the moon energy is like, I don't know how it's going to go. It's that time before we get to the sun, interestingly. So you have the moon and the sun. Moon is 18, the sun is 19. So this is when we're moving through a time of a little uncertainty. We're not really sure exactly where we're going or how it's going to work out. It's mysterious. We're having to lean into our intuition and just feel our way through a room that isn't completely fully lit yet. But it's because we're going towards that sun, right? We're going towards the clarity. You have with the nine of the eight of inspiration, the nine of cups. So this is like swift movement and messages. This is possibly you receiving a message that you've been wishing or hoping for. This could be in love, could be in work, could be from a friendship or something in particular. Very, very sweet energy. For some of you, you could be traveling somewhere and it's like something that you've really, maybe the restrictions are opening up where you are and you're just like, man, I've been wishing and hoping to get moving and it's finally happening. It feels kind of like that. Yeah, so you got a lot of Pisces energy in here. Um, hanged man energy. So it's like from a time of feeling sort of suspended in time, you're moving towards improvements with this Six of Swords. Ten pentacles at the bottom. You have a lot of tens. It feels like for some of you, it's like a graduation of some kind. Like moving towards a stage of life that's... It isn't like... This doesn't feel like, oh, it's time to retire. Or, oh, it's time. I mean, that could be where you're at. But it doesn't feel like... I don't know. It doesn't feel sad. It doesn't feel like something's done, done, done. I don't know. It's sort of like a graduation. Like a moving on up. I like it. Could we please have a card for my Capricorns? That's a several cards. Okay, I'll go like this. No? No, that was it. Is the whole deck upside down? Yes, okay. This is number 23 called Peace. I'll read you both the upright and the reversed in case you really want it, but 
the whole deck was upside down, which I don't normally do, but maybe it was for a reason. So the main me meaning says it doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. The protection message says now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there are dissonant notes in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within and fine-tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. Yeah, there's a blip. A bit of a blip maybe in July, but it doesn't look like it's anything too crazy. It looks like you weather it well and it works out really nicely with this 10 of cups, the fool, a new start, nine of cups, eight of wands, shoot Capricorn. Anything in here Capricorns need to hear, spit it out. Let's do it. These are blunt cards. This is the Rebel deck. They have cursing. If you don't like cursing, earmuffs, or be an adult, you could just, you know, not watch. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay, take it if it resonates. Leave it behind if you don't. You got a bunch. We have some good shit is about to happen. Hell yeah, don't let your issues fuck it up. All right. Ooh, it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. This card to me is like almost like the serenity prayer. Now, I know the serenity prayer has far less cursing in it, but it's sort of that notion of like, what can you actually control? What can you not control? And then if we are somehow making choices that are making things harder in our life, sometimes we... We get into negative patterns or we're, get, we're upset about something. We have our focus in the five of cups energy, right? Or we're all nine of swordsy and it's difficult to like take responsibility when it feels like things aren't working out as we want them to. And a lot of the time that comes from a sense of control, right? Can't control it. And then it feels awkward and strange. Um, but this is just basically like take accountability for the stuff that you can, and the rest of it's not your business, okay? We have that feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you, listen to that shit. Yeah, some intuition. There's something here that tells you it wants you to jump. We have you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power and your voice. Don't use it for dumb shit, okay? Sorry, the world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Okay, I've had this sense, yeah, something kind of balancing out here. For some of you, it's like moving away from a job, moving away from some kind of field or group of people even. It's like something that's like, you know you have something better to offer, Capricorn. We have, for some of you, you are being shady. Watch out, shit could get ugly. Okay, everybody needs that from time to time. We also have Ask a Fucking Expert saying, don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Okay. Um, for some reason, all that came into my head was Facebook comment sections. Yeah, this is almost like, don't, I don't know if any of you do this. Don't engage. Don't fight. Like a lot of the time. I always tell people, it's like, you're never going to change anyone's mind by screaming at them on the internet. Like that just doesn't happen. <laughs> so a lot of the time you just watch in like, say Facebook's really bad for it. Like the comment section, people just yelling back and forth at each other about nonsense. Nobody wins. No one's mind has changed. It's completely useless. And it's basically just, I'm like, I don't know what people are doing. If they're just bored, they have nothing else to do with their lives. Oof, it's just ridiculous. So um, yeah, listen to pro professionals. <sighs> Don't bother engaging in stuff like that. There could be something where you really need to just talk to someone who actually knows rather than listening to other people. We have that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. That's that fool. 
I love it. And it's also, you're going through some shit, right? We did have ten of swords in the middle there. It says, everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Capricorn, if there's anybody who can handle shit, I feel like it's y'all. Some of the most capable people I've ever met have been Capricorns. So resilient. Yeah, yeah. See, you have the hostilities card. So this is basically a card. I'll read you the meaning. So in July, you might encounter this. It's basically having to have your defenses up. So it talks about, there's a man that's ra raising this sword, right? So it, when it comes upright, this reveals a situation where the hostilities towards you um, could be or already have been engaged. It's an aggressive energy that could just be a verbal or emotional one. It could be someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or there could be something that's kind of hurtful happening around you. So in a work situation or social, social situation, there could be some backstabbing or out and out slander. This is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent and more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time, but whether this is new or old energy now is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may be risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. Okay, so this is this energy, right? Of like there being conflict, five of inspiration, five of wands, seven of wands, rising above, standing up for yourself, knowing your worth, only letting certain opinions in, the rest of it, not having it. We have the affirmation here says, I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in life. I set boundaries, make reasonable requests, and make my expectations clear. Do not be afraid to set boundaries with people. If people are not used to it at first, they will, they tend to react a little weird, right? They don't know how to deal with it, but I feel like caps, if that's the only thing you run into this month, you're coming out really well. You're coming out really, really well with all of this energy here. Okay, I hope something in here rang your bell, entertained you, gave you some comfort, whatever. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Um, if you want to enter the free reading giveaway, the rules are in the description down below if you want to enter for a chance to win. Um, and if you happen to have a Pisces placement, I have another channel where I do Pisces on almost on the daily. <laughs> Occasionally I take a few days off, um, or a day here and there, but for the most part it's daily. There's like ugh, several hundred readings on there and I haven't even been on YouTube for a year yet. It's pretty bonkers. So check that out if you want to, um, take care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the next one very soon. Bye now.